Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome to the Friday Funnies. But I got to tell you, my friends, this could be the last episode of the Friday Funnies. Because if I win the billion dollar Mega Millions lottery tonight, I'm probably going to take some time off. But I will come back to produce the Friday Funnies as a three camera shoot from my new custom studio directed by Steven Spielberg with a live audience to whom I will give everyone a brand new car. So wish me luck on that. Now, if you read the funnies as opposed to watching the video, you will not see the increased production values, so you won't know how rich I got and try and hit me up for some dough. So it's a win-win as far as I'm looking at it. Now, Canada, our neighbors to the north, opened their doors this week to sell recreational marijuana. This makes country, Canada a country with free health care, good beer, and legal pot. Huh? So what does that tell you? Tells me that it looks like the college kids are going to be wearing parkas and mucklucks for next year's spring break. So while I pick my numbers for tonight's lottery, please enjoy this week's Friday Funnies. A new Guinness record was set this week by a Pakistani martial artist. Mohammad Rashid Nassim beat the previous record set earlier this year for cracking the most walnuts in one minute. And oh yeah, you have to do it with your head. You know, this, this headbanger lined up 243 walnuts and went down the line, bashing them with his forehead at the speed of four walnuts per second. Now, the previous record was 217 walnuts set by an Indian man, you know, earlier in the year. All I'd like to know is why is this a world record category? Cranial walnut, walnut bashing is not an Olympic sport. It's never been featured on ESPN. Who came up with this dopey idea in the first place? Huh? The next thing you know, somebody's going to be setting a record for picking up marshmallows with their butt cheeks. And that, my friends, will be on ESPN. You know, I have nothing against people with support animals that help them get through the day. You know, pet dogs and cats and even miniature horses help otherwise nervous people deal with stress. I mean, I, I, I always travel with my support pet rock and whenever I feel stress I take it out and hit somebody with it and I feel a lot better. The issue with the support animals is that people insist on bringing them on planes and this bothers me because some of those animals make me sneeze. But I can deal with that as long as they don't insist on bringing a wild animal on board like a squirrel. Yeah, squirrels, as you know, are nothing more than rats in fur coats. They have no use in society. But one woman on board a Frontier Airlines flight from Orlando to Cleveland brought along her support squirrel, Rocky. <laughs> I don't know if that's his real name, but he's a flying squirrel. Anyhow, the airline said, no rodents on board. And they made her and the squirrel, two politicians and a lawyer, get off the plane. This last story is a sidebar to the story about legal pot in Canada. The bill up there, known as C-45, was known as the Cannabis Act. And when that was presented to the House of Commons, nobody had proofread it. And fortunately, somebody caught the error in time before the House voted to approve cannibalism. That's right. Somebody put in cannibalism instead of cannabis. I'll tell you right now, that would have changed the tourism draw right now. People will travel to Canada for legal pot, but nobody wants to go up there just to chew the fat. There you go. Hey, everybody, that's it for another week of the Friday Funnies. I hope you enjoyed them. Please leave us a like. Please pass them along to others. And I'll see you back here next Friday.